My ex-girlfriend gave me a new life. When I was my late teens, I was doing drugs. Nothing too hardcore but enough to make me weak and lazy. I was also very skinny but didn't think too much of that. The first girlfriend that I had was very athletic. She was into wrestling and had background in gymnastics as well. Short red hair, blue eyes, always looked like she was suppressing a laugh. One day I went to pick her up during her wrestling practice. I had seen her in her regular clothes and she had seemed like she had a good figure, but when I saw her in her wrestling spandex singlet, I noticed that she was muscular. Not like those female bodybuilders, but very natural athletic muscle. She was practicing with a kid who must have been 16, but looked very strong. If was up against that guy in a dark alley, I would not be sure if I could take him on, so I would stay the heck away. My girlfriend was really woman handling him. I really wanted him to win for my own self-assurance, but she won't let it happen. At some point I gave up because he gassed out and then she was really ragdolling him. It was intimidating what she did to that guy. He didn't care, but it bothered me that she was this strong. When it was over he left and she was like kneeling to catch her breath. I wanted to convince myself that I am physically superior than her so I stepped on the mat and asked her to wrestle. She laughed and said no. I insisted and then playfully pinned her down. She said, okay let me catch my breath. Then she stabilized her breathing allowing to come down. The she goes, are you ready? I was like yeah. I am really glad that no one was there to see what she did to me. I wanted to know who was stronger, but it never got to a point where it would become a test of strength. She never allowed it to go there. She pushed me and I pushed her back to convince myself that I am stronger and she pulled me in while I was pushing. Then she flipped me over her hips and it was a decisive slam. If I pushed she would pull and if I pulled she would push and it was all about angles and leverage and I never got to assure myself that I was stronger because with her it did not matter. She jokingly dismantled me and then said had enough. I was like okay. I really did not have anything left to prove. She was used to practicing with boys and in their circle no one cares but coming from a non-athletic background it was not sitting well with me. That day she noticed that I was zoned out and distant and then it hit her that the reg dialing she had given me was not sitting well. She felt sorry but did not say anything. I came back to my room, broke down and cried. It was not just losing but feeling unworthy. I was also upset at my parents for doing what they did and giving me this messed up life. I was extremely attracted to this girl and I felt like she can do better. But after that, I stopped asking her out. Instead I decided to clean up my mess. She came up to me and asked, Are we not going out anymore? You do not call me? Did I do anything wrong? I told her that you were too good for me. You are beautiful, you are more educated, you are so talented that it is not a pleasant experience for me to be with you. She understood what I meant and after that we became nodding acquaintances. But I still had a crush on her and I stopped drugs and started to clean up my life. I was embarrassed to go to the gym where she worked out so I would go to another far away gym where no one knew me. I even printed her picture in one of her wrestling matches and put it in my room. I would wake up in the morning, look at that picture for a good 5-10 to 10 minutes and think about what she did to me on the mat. Then I would go to the gym and lift weights. Two years later she went out of my life, but her picture remained. It would always be on my wall and I would look at her and think about how helpless she made me feel. Then I would hit the gym. By the time I was 25, I could walk into any gym and be one of the strongest dudes. I also did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and became a purple belt. I have done very well for myself in other areas too. But her picture never left my wall. I now look at that, that picture differently. I look at that her with such deep rooted respect and the most sincere gratitude. That one human being caused such a change in me and gave me a life that even my parents did not give me. In the age of social media, people can find each other. I searched for her name and found her profile. I am no longer looking for any romantic connection as I am sure we have both grown out of each other. But I wonder if it would be a good idea to meet her and explain to her that everything I have and will ever have is due to her. I am not sure if a woman would appreciate someone coming into her life from many lifetimes ago to thank her and ask for nothing back in return. For someone who has never been given anything by the world, saying thanks is a powerful feeling. But I am not sure if sharing all that I write here would be a wise thing to do. These are personal thoughts. Many days have gone by and a lot of water has gone under the bridge. Her picture in her red wrestling singlet remains on my wall.